हेलो वेलकम टू एस एस यूनिटेक सुशील दिसाइड एंड दिस इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ पाइस पार्क इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड एंसर्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी वन मोर रियल टाइम इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन दैट वॉज आफ इन पेप्सिको कंपनी सो हियर वी आर हैविंग दिस इनपुट डेटा फ्रेम एंड वी वॉन्ट टू जनरेट दिस आउटपुट सो इन द इनपुट डेटा फ्रेम इट इज हैविंग द सेल्स इन्फॉर्मेशन लाइक द सेल्स ऑर्डर आई डी सेल्स ऑर्डर डीट आइटम कोड एंड आइटम क्वान्टिटी एंड आइटम वैल्यू but in the output we just want to have only year month of the sale and then the total sale what is done on that particular month and year and then we need to calculate the percentage difference for previous month so how we can get it so first we'll be going to get the total sale and then we need to take the difference between next month to the previous month so here as we can see the difference that is 1000 so on 1000 will be taking the percentage from 4000 so it will be 25 and similarly here we are going to check the difference between 10000 to 4000 so that will be 6000 and if we'll be going to take the percentage on 6000 of this 10000 so it will be 60 so let me quickly go inside the excel file and we'll try to understand how we can write our logic so as here we can see this is our input data frame so first what we will be doing we'll be going to get the month and year from this sales order date column then we'll be going to take the sum of the item value so once we will be doing this and then after we can simply take the difference so how we can take the difference so for that we have to get the lag function we can use we'll be getting the value from the previous row so this is the first row so for this it will be null and let's assume if it is having total 3000 and maybe next is having 4000 and then we will be having 10000 so here lag function will be doing it will be going to get the 3000 and then in 10000 it will be getting the previous row as 4000 once we'll be going to generate this data frame then we can simply go and take the difference percentage so how we can take the difference percentage so first row as it is null so we'll be going to get null here but in the second row we can simply take the difference of this 4000 minus this 3000 and then we can divide with the 4000 and we can also multiply with 100 so it will be 25 similarly we can do for next row so first thing we'll be going to generate this data frame and then we'll be adding the lag and then we'll be going to get the difference so these three steps we have to do for achieving the output let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to see in practical so here i am going to create the data frame that is df1 so this df1 data frame will be having the same data that we have seen in slide and excel file so here we can also verify it is having the sales order id sales order date item code and item quantity and value if we want to verify the data type of this so for the sales order date the data type is string so that is not correct so first we are required to convert the data type of this so we have to do the type cast so for doing the type cast here i am going to replace the same column that we are having so date and here we are doing the cast as a date type let me try to execute this cell and we'll see the schema of this so data frame 1 will be going to replace with this operation and here the print schema is indicating like so date is having the date column now let me use the display of this df1 so the first thing we are required to get the month and year from this so date and item value because only these three columns are required for our operation so for that we can simply write like df1 dot select and here first let me try to get the month and this month we can get from the so date so so date is present in df1 data frame so we can use the df1 data frame here and this could be so date and we can also provide the alias of this so alias name will be indicating like month now let me add next one next will be saying as year so we can go here and it will be adding year alias name will be going to have like year now it is having two columns the third column that is needed as item value so df1 dot we can go with item value let me put into another data frame that is df2 and let me use the display of this df2 
so name month is not defined because we have not imported this from the library so we have to import this function by using pyspark dot sql dot then we can go with functions and then we can import and put asterisk here let me execute and we'll see the output of this so here we have like month year item value so these three columns are required next we just want to do the sum of this item quantity and we'll be doing the group by on the month and year so how we can do that so for that as it is having data frame 2 so we can go with data frame 2 then we can specify group by and inside the group by we can specify these two columns so we can go with df2 dot month that is the first column df2 dot year that is the second column so we are doing the group by on this then we can go with aggregate and here we are doing aggregate like sum of this df2 dot item value and after that we can also provide the alias name of this so the alias could be total sale let me put this into another data frame that is df3 and here let me see the output of this df3 so it should be having month year and the total sale so everything looks good till now now we are required to use the lag function for getting the value from the previous row and then we can take the difference and get the percentage for using the lag function we have to import the window function so for that we can use the pyspark dot sql dot window we can import a stick from here so here we can use df3 dot let me select and here let me select all the columns first and then we can use the lag function so simply we can use lag of which column so it will be on total sale column so we can specify total sale dot we can specify over and here we can specify like window dot we can specify order by and this order by should be on month and year so we can specify df3 dot month and second df3 dot year and then we can also specify the alias name of this so it will be like pre sale let me put this into another data frame could be df4 let me execute this and we'll see the output of this df4 so as we could see previous sale we are getting here and it is getting the value from the previous row so like this row is having 4000 and previous row is 3000 so on this we are getting 3000 similarly in the next row it will be getting the previous row value that is 4000 so 4000 is coming here now the final thing we are required to take the percentage so how we can get the percentage difference so first we are required to do the difference and then we are required to do the percentage so we can go with df4 dot here let me try to use the select and let me select all the columns first and then here we are required to do the operation so how we can do this so we can use the df4 dot the column that is the total sale we can subtract df4 dot previous sale so once we are going to do the subtraction here and after that we are required to do the divide on this with the df4 dot total sale and let me put this into a bracket and here we are required to multiply with 100 for getting the percentage let me use the display of this so we'll see the output of this so here we can see it is getting the exactly same output that we were expecting so here we are getting 25 and here we are getting 60 so by using this approach we can achieve it so i hope guys you have understood how we can achieve the output how we can write the query i'll provide all these scripts in the description of this video you can copy for your practice purpose Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel to get many more videos. See you in the next video.